Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to have some fun and we're going to uh, check out the four brand new add-on cars that Lionel just released at the end of 2023 for the original Lion Chief Harry Potter set. So a lot of people have the Harry Potter set, super popular, uh, really fun, cool little set, uh, obviously based on the Harry Potter uh, books and movies. And uh, yeah, they haven't released an add-on car for quite a few years uh, for the Harry Potter set. I think the last one was the Dementors car that had sounds and lights in it. But that was about it. And so this year they came out with four brand new cars to add on to the set. So we're going to check those out today, uh, add them to our train, and take a couple of laps around the layout. So uh, let's get started. All right, guys. Well, here they are. So we've got one, two, three, four add-on cars here. They're basically the same cars as in the original set, except what they've done here is they've made a car for each of the houses uh, for Hogwarts, right? So... Uh, you've got uh, all the different cars that are color-coded to the house and uh, Yeah, so let's uh, open them up check them out see what they look like so we got the first car right here This is a uh, one in yellow and um, if you look at the Little crest that they have on here. It's probably uh, the cameras not getting close enough for it But anyway, uh, this is Hufflepuff. Uh, so this is the uh, Hufflepuff car and um We'll check out the numbers on the uh, original set against these numbers, but this is 99729 on this particular car. Otherwise, it's pretty much identical to uh, the cars that are in the set. Same exact shape and, uh, you know, mold and everything else, except they have a uh, different colored body. And, of course, the crest on the cars itself. And I think, looks to me like that is pretty much it. So they've got pickups on the bottom, so they're obviously lighted. And so, yeah, that's it. That's the first one. All right, so our second claw right here is in uh, this really nice blue that they have here. And again, the uh, crest for the house is right here. But this is uh, Ravenclaw. So, okay, and this is 99 uh, 730 on this one. So it's the next uh, car in the series numbered there. So otherwise the same as the other uh, car. This so one we got is in green right here. This is obviously, you can see by the crest, a little snake there. So, uh, Slytherin. So, looks good. And this one is 99728. So this was uh, the number right before Hufflepuff. And finally, we have the last car, which is sort of in this, uh, uh, I don't know, how dark, dark reddish color, uh, sort of... Uh, maroon type almost uh which of course is harry potter's house which is uh gryffindor so uh and this is 99727 so that's the one right before uh slytherin so yeah they're all numbered in order which is really nice uh this is a different color than the main set the main set sort of a sort of uh more of a red uh and this is like a, a rust dark red uh type of color that matches the uh colors of the house so uh looks really good so, uh, yeah, let's put them on a layout, put them in the um, train, and let's uh, give it a run around. All right, so there you have it, the four-car add-on set, all numbered in order, which is really nice. And, um, yeah, they're lighted, uh, and they are just like the originals except for the uh, paint schemes on them. And uh, they run about, uh, I think I saw them at Nicholas Smith and those types of stores for like $65 a car, so not bad uh, for a little add-on uh, to the original set. So uh, let's check them out running around the layout.
out these add-on cars is now you have a nice long Harry Potter train. It's really neat. I love all the colors too. All right, guys, well, that's going to be it for the Harry Potter add-on cars. Um, they're super cool. Uh, great colors, and they I love the way they mix in with the regular set. So I just basically what I did is I put a colored car in between each of the other cars, and then I had the Dementors car as the last car of the set. And it, re it makes a really nice long Harry Potter set instead of the short one, so it's really nice. Um, and i got to be honest with you, sometimes it's just nice to pick up a Lion Chief remote not have to worry about all legacy functions, commands, uh, whistle steam, and all that other stuff we always have to deal with, right, on the scale engines, and just grab a Lion Chief remote and turn the dial <laughs> left and right and have three buttons for whistle, bell, and uh, talk. So I, sometimes it's just fun to grab a Lion Chief remote and run some trains around the track. The Harry Potter set, it's funny, has never given me a single problem since the day I got it. It smokes every single time. I never have a problem with smoke units like on some of my scale stuff. Uh, it's kind of funny that the, the, the uh, ready to run Lion Chief set sometimes uh, gives me just as much enjoyment as the scale stuff. So uh, yeah, sometimes it's really just nice to do that. And I'm really glad Lionel added some add-on cars to the Harry Potter set because now it's even better than it was before. So uh, highly recommended. Only 65 bucks about somewhere around there about uh, for each car. So well worth it. Uh, they're lighted as you saw, so perfect out of the box, no problem. So, all right, guys, that's going to be it for this uh, video. Uh, as always, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, put your comments down below about the Harry Potter add-on cars, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace, guys.